All right, welcome back. We are here at the final event of the season for the Goose Man. My season's over, guys. USDGC <laughs> was last weekend. Overall, I played pretty decent. It's been like five months since I've had a decent tournament, so I had some really good shots out there, which was nice. But uh, it kind of just capped off like the worst season of my life. <laughs> really bad. But I got on Chase Call twice for you guys, so if you guys saw me play, thanks for watching. It was kind of fun. first place for quite a while there, too. I was in first place for a decent bit. Yeah, the, sec the second day I was shredding, so. Yep. I just couldn't just couldn't pull a full round together, it seemed like. So I got like half of a round three times. It just wasn't good enough. I, Missed uh, cash, but... I had one highlight. One great highlight. I uh, at East hole nine. Yeah. Not not a great shot, but uh, basket got in the way. And fun fact, I was one under par through nine with no birdies. That is a pretty crazy stat. <laughs> and a bogey, too. You bogeyed hole one. <laughs> yep. Seven poles in a row. Seven pars. Uh, we used the thumbnail for that hole in the video. Or I did, at least. So like you're like lining up. So it's like... Oh. It's like uh, you know, oh, wow. It's like a prophecy that you're going to ace that Holy hole. Holy cow. Man, you but, didn't know uh, it was going to happen. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're getting ready here. Well, I guess Goose is getting ready for the Disc Golf Portal Championship presented by Bulbasaur. Should be a good week. Let's go into it. All right, well, here at Nevin, I'm not sure if there's any changes to this course, so you'll be finding out with us. But we got hole one here, 419 foot pole three. OB all on the right side, trees on the left side, and then some trees to contend with at the very end towards the basket. Most people, I think, will be going like uh, kind of a slight drifting mid-range the whole way. I'm also not sure if I'm even supposed to be out here, guys. So I'm, tr I'm sneaking on for you. No, no some, one will know. You know it's not content. like there'll be any evidence of you yeah. being here at all. It's fine. It's a public it's a public park, right? I don't <laughs> think, is the course close today to AMs? I'm an AM today. All right, here we go, full shot of the day. <clears throat> Pretty good shape. You think it's far enough? That's a putt. It's good enough for me, man. I don't really need to throw that many good shots today. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be Buzz OS, but it's a little long for that. It's like really? 420, 419. I feel like it's a good distance. I just have to throw it really hard, I think. I feel like that's like your favorite thing to do in this game. <laughs> you might, yeah, yeah, maybe so. Ooh, a little crosswind Slight too. Slight drift. It's gonna be a little left side, but it yeah, it's looks not, like it punched through. Not ideal. It's tough to scramble from there too. I'm gonna try, I can throw this a little softer. It is probably kind of difficult to go deep with all the trees, right. I suppose, but. It's just a matter of hitting that gap. Oh, Ace, oh my good gosh, line. almost. I just gotta throw it in the air. The FPO. <laughs> well, I fought through a little bit. If you're over there, it's really nasty but I actually have a putt from back here. Stay up! Oh! Dang it! Good line. Gotta get it there. This course play is super difficult, so I feel like the jump putting is probably gonna be kind of key. Right. It's kind of tough to give yourself circle one looks on a lot of these holes. Definitely a putter's kind of course. You can yeah. throw a lot of shots that are gonna be weird. Yeah, circle two putts, yeah. gotta make them. I'll take that, well. I would, take, I would take literally any shot, actually, because that would be the thing that I'm playing in the tournament. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be a sad day, guys. <laughs> Goose, you better be super happy I'm not in this event, because uh, no right. one would have a chance. Here's the thing. If I, if I was in this event, I would be starting, what, eight strokes behind Gannon? So it's like, Ten, instead, of, instead of losing by 25 strokes, I can lose by 33 strokes. <laughs> That's brutal, man. There's no reset, too. So it's just like straight up, like I start six strokes back from Gannon. Right. And I have four rounds to play. So basically, right. round two of the World Championships. Yeah, true. Hey. Basically, like round two of pretty much every season, every event this season. <laughs> but this is the first time we're doing this, uh, this format where it doesn't reset, which I think will be kind of interesting to see how that works out. I think I maybe kind of like it because I, like, I feel like if you have the best season, you should get rewarded a little bit heavier than just like having the reset, so I don't, I don't know. Right, that's one way to look at it. it. Another way to look at it is like, he should almost have a handicap. Oh. So the rest of us have a chance, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, I guess. I don't want to punish people for bad play though, or for good play. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind giving Gannon a handicap though. I feel like everyone, everyone else in the field needs it. But like, what's the, what's the point of the event? Yeah, like, it's... If Gannon goes out and wins by 20 strokes, are right. we like, oh, it's a fantastic event. It's exactly right. what we wanted. You know, like, I don't know. 
If they want the best. They want the person who has the best, who had the best season, have the best chance of winning. I think. But, but I don't think that's what this is trying to accomplish. Okay. I think we want views. We oh. want people to be interested. We want it to be an entertaining thing. Okay. And I feel like putting the best player way out in front doesn't make it very interesting. Right. Well, it's it's less likely to have like an in, like a exciting finish, I guess. Right. That's that was kind of my thought. But yeah. but with that thought, though, they could they could give Gannon a handicap at every event. <laughs> right. Well, that's a little too communistic for me. A little too socialism. This is America, baby. This is America, capitalism, let's go. <laughs> All right, hole two, 366 feet. Um, this one has been on the course um, all three years I've played. So I actually do really like this hole. It gives two good options. You've got um, a forehand, kind of like pushing hyzer, and then you've got a backhand like flex. Um, I've been liking that shot, but I might try the forehand as well. Mm. Um, the one thing I will say is I think this is the only tee pad that I really have this critique on. It is just a little too short. There is the step up, um, but I can't get my full run up like on the tee pad. Oh, okay. Um, so it is just a little, little short, um, and I wish that yeah, it's just a little more level so you could like run up to it. Mm. Man, that's the line. Oh. I just got to throw it in the air. Um, stable might work better too, like flex out at the end. So I'm gonna try that as well. If I could get it in time, yeah. Nice. Almost. Got the Pretty last good. tree. All right. Not left of that, not left of everything. That's the forehand guy. Oh! <clears throat> I'm going to be one and done all day. I don't think there was any reason for me to throw two shots today. All right, I'll, I'll throw a forehand just for, throw a lot of forehands on this course. So it might be good to like start early. Ooh. It's got to get a little sneaky, I think, in the back, but it did. I'll bet that one's circle one. At least it's at the end of that, that it has to get stinky, though. Like right. it's, it's safe until a circle two putt, basically. True. It's kind of nice. Dude, natural's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, just grew like that. Natural selection's wild. I just I never would have expected to see something like that. Um, it's kind of like a Widowmaker that's still alive. So I think <laughs> they just like built this up to kind of like make it a little sturdier. Yeah. But it's just like resting on that tree up there. <laughs> a little sketchy, I don't know. A little sketchy, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I hope it doesn't fall down and destroy, <laughs> you know, I hope it doesn't land on top of me, oh. I'd have to have a white false fall to actually be a Widowmaker though. If I don't, it's just like a uh, mortal, I guess. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> this isn't even bad. Yeah. Oh, TB. Dunk, oh, she's gone. Did it roll? A little bit, 25 hmm. feet. We're gonna have a lot of these long putts, so it's worth practicing them, trying to get them like, Stay kind of close. Give it a chance. Yeah, pretty yeah. solid. We're trying to give it a bid, but also not blow it too far by, probably. Yeah. Oh, you got to turn that. Mm. Whoops. And the forehand did get a little too far right. Mm. Might want to push a little straighter, but I take this putt. Yuck. Oh, she is. All right, we made one. I think this course has actually a lot of powerful walls, kind of, for being in the woods. Yeah. It's so tightly wooded, which I really like. This is, this is a big one here. We've got 630 feet powerful wall uphill, very unique shape. We have like a pretty steep dog leg left right out the gate, and then it kind of trickles back to the right at the end. The most aggressive play you can do, or that I've seen walk at least, is like a big flex forehand with something kind of unstable to hold left, and then pan out at the very end and get. Try to try to get past halfway up. Some people will just trip like a puddle or a you know something shorter a backhand out this gap to just kind of kind of play position golf. But it's really tough to get the ball if you do that because you can't really get far off. I was going nuke forehand in the past, so I'm gonna try to show you today. A lot of trees though. You have to just miss the trees. You can't really see where the gap is because the trees get in the way. But dude, this tee pad is so bright. Kind of just thrown in. We got this like hope. patch of sunlight right here. Let me throw that again. <laughs> Sometimes people just re-throw, you know? Doesn't, yeah, doesn't no, it matter. was like, hey, that shot wasn't great. Let me, let me give you a second chance. Whoa. Track that one. Follow that one, Aaron. Um, I like a little bit more stable on the flex. Mm. I think that it lets you get a little tighter. 
to start and you can go a little bit more Anheuser. Oh, that's good. Let me try that. Oh, it's gonna be good though still. See, perfect shot. Wow. Let me try nice. one with a Raptor actually. I like that shape. That one's nice. Nice shot, dude. All right, last one. This was uh, a line my buddy took, Josh Matheson, yesterday. He oh. Said that it's a viable option, and I gotta try it out. Oh my gosh. You might have to come over here. Is this, um, okay. Oh man, all right, here we go. Oh my gosh. Wow, geez. okay, that's way more. Oh, I smoked that second wow, that actually isn't too bad, though. That's a reasonable line. It is. Uh, I don't I think, hate it that bad. I think I went too fast. Let me try one more. It needs to hook up a little bit quicker. Yeah. Try like. I mean, it's, it's a small gap, but it's not like it's way smaller than like the main gap. Right. No, I, I was Honestly. thinking the same thing. It's not a gap that's like unheard of for us to have to hit, especially yeah. on this course. Right. Oh, no. I hate it. <laughs> it's done. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is pretty ideal. I yeah. think that I really like that shot, but I think from here I can go forehand. I just mm -hmm. need to go like a little hyzer flip up, push it straight. Being central cut in the fairway, like, fairway like this is so nice too, because it's so much more important. Like if you're up like another 50 feet, but on one of the sides, yeah, it's a um, big difference. Yeah. yeah. Not that big of a difference. 50 feet up in the woods, just like that. Just like that. I just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. Here we go. Hmm. Dang it. Woods golf. That's a crush of a drive, man. Thanks, dude. All the way up by the seat <coughs> pad. You should have seen my first one. <laughs> this is uh, not a very good place to be, though. Like you said, it's a little bit fuller than yours, but I am a little pinched off, y'all. <clears throat> See how your patent pending is. Pretty good, dude. Pretty freaking good, dude. It is very good. Wow. Ah, Nicely so... thrown. See you guys next, y'all. <laughs> oh, nice. Pretty manageable little upshot. I think a lot of these holes, it's like just hit the first gap, mm -hmm. make sure you get your par, and maybe have some opportunities for birdie. But um, they'll play a lot like MVP, where it's going to play really tough. Just right. try to get off the tee a little bit. Oh. Now, if you're big like this guy, you get yourself birdie putts. They should really double man with these trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it more exciting for the fans. Yeah. Oh! Oh, my step putting prowess left me after yesterday's round, man. You used them all up, man. Good the nice thing it. is, that was probably the last tournament round I can step putt from Sorka 1, <laughs> and I made all of them. I made all the putts. That's cool. No, and I can never, I'll never be able to legally do it again. <laughs> Soft goose. Thanks for tapping, tapping that in for me. You're welcome, dude. Soft zone. Thank you, zone. Did you get one? I've got a couple. They just kind of sit in my in my vehicle. Though. I don't know. <laughs> the practice bag. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hole four, 710 feet. Another wicked par four. Like you said, there's a lot of them out here. Mm -hmm. um, they got some really interesting shapes. But uh, this one fades off to the left, off the tee here then straight down a tunnel and then farther to the left. So um, it's a little pinched. A lot of people throw like a putter around the corner and then up from there. You can't really go more aggressive than that with a backhand. Right. But I'm gonna go like a flip up forehand. I think I'm going Athena here. Forehand Athena, interesting. I'm gonna try it. Just release it on high. Definitely the more I've got to play. Try to go left, yep. Nice and smooth. And I have to throw it tighter than that. It's a good shape. Just. That was close. Closer to the actual fairway. Mm -hmm. That looks to be more like the shot. Nice. Yeah. I like the stability on that because it kind of just holds left the whole way. Right. So as long as you hit the gap, it doesn't have as much of a chance of fading out to that, like, you know, kind of natural OB on the right side that, like, a Raptor would do. Um, I think it's good, too, because, like, it can't really go too far left as well because right. it's a fairway. It kind of just, like, slides out. That is good. I'm going to try the backhand here. I'm going to go kind of an unstable mid-range because I feel like it fits the shape a little better. And I kind of just want to throw this disc again. Fair enough. I don't know. Do 
Too straight. Dunk. Uh, Not bad though. It's fine. I don't know, it's, a lot of these holes, it's just, you know, it's playing the risk reward. You know, how aggressive do you want to get? Do you want to try to get aggressive and try to give yourself a short, manageable upshot? Or just kind of, I could throw just a puddle like the base of those trees. Right. But it's always something to factor in. <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by Factor. Factor makes meal prep extremely easy. There's no prep and no mess, just delicious meals that feature premium ingredients delivered right to your door. In this box, Factor sent me these vegan peanut Buddha bowls with the slogan, fitness starts with food, which I absolutely love. They also included these cold brew latte protein shakes to help me get an extra protein boost. You work hard, so treat your body right with Factor. They're fresh, never frozen, chef crafted meals make it easy to get the nutrition you need with a restaurant like experience you dissolve. Simply follow the instructions and with the meal being ready in just two minutes, you will save our every last bite. Whether you're managing calories, maximizing your protein intake, or simply trying to eat more balanced, Factor offers 35 wholesome meals every week so you'll always find something you like that suits your lifestyle. Choose from six meal preferences including keto, calorie smart, and vegan plus veggie, and round out your order with nutrient-rich smoothies, snacks, and energy shots to keep you satisfied all day long. Factor cuts down on grocery trips and cooking, which gives you more time to focus on the things that are important to me, like training for disc golf and my fitness routine. With how simple Factor makes meal prep and how delicious the food is, you will want to head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code EZRA50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code EZRA50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Thanks again to Factor. Now let's get back to the disc golf. All right, here we go. Wow, what See? a kick, bro. Oh, this is actually a pretty good spot, honestly. Yeah, not bad. I thought I was gonna be worse than, I thought I was gonna be worse than this, but <laughs> it's turned out pretty good. Oh, it's way back down now. They pushed this one back left, right? Yeah, yeah so it's, it's the same as last year. I but. might not be able to get far enough with my onyx, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Uphill run up. Ah! Ooh, I think you got around the hill though, so that should still be an easy par. It is a ways back there. It is, it is. I think this is an ideal spot though. I think I think cap wrap can get there. Oh, okay. A stable raptor. Stable raptor, yeah. It's almost Buzz OS. I think maybe 30 feet closer I could go Buzz OS, mm -hmm. but it's a little far from here. It's good shape. Skip. Maybe a little left. Nope. Perfect. Sweet. Really good. I think it may be a little short, but okay. All nine. Maybe the straighter raptor would. Yeah, a little more height, even just a little more height. Maybe, maybe would have pushed back. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. That was a good shot, though. Thanks. Might as well bust out the zone OS, you know. <laughs> Don't. Oh, we almost got the ladies' pin. Yeah, the, the focus level's just not. It's just <laughs> not really that high. I don't know. I wonder sure. why. You know. It is important though, like uh, this, this hill right here, and if you get behind it, it's really tough to get to the basket, but if you can get around it in two, should yeah. be an easy par. Which is honestly half the battle. It's just like try to avoid the bogeys yeah. for the most part. Especially on this course. Except that I'm six strokes back to start. You kind of have to bulk every hole, because you know Gan's gonna come out here and shoot 12 down. Right. So you have to shoot 18 just to catch him. <laughs> to catch him. <laughs> Any this is good, puts? 28 feet, yeah, seven feet. something like that. Circle one putts on this, this course is really nice. God, if you make them. There you go. Clank. One out of three is bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made it two out of four. There you go. Pretty sweet addition, y'all. This man's walking hard, getting some brand new steps put in. I thought it was gonna be the steps that like, they just like have the boards and they fill it in with sand. Yeah. Um, but they went the full, They'll put like decking on it. Yeah, they're finishing it out, making a full stairs. It's gonna be so, really nice, yeah. Look really good. All right, hole five, another big hole. We got oh, pole five this time, 1,052 feet. Little dog leg left the entire way. Decently open tee shot, especially for this course. Nice green grass, fairway. Has to get over this hill, fade a little bit to the left. You don't want to go in the woods to the right, or it will be left, obviously. And then the second half of this hole gets very dicey, kind of like the rest of this Nevin course, where it's very wooded. Kind of, kind of have to pick your shots. Eagle actually is in play. Have you eagled this hole before? Slightly. I, I've tried it every time in practice, okay. and I think I've gotten a putt before, but I don't think okay. I've ever made it. All right, well, today's, gonna, today's a new day. Hey, let's go. Throw what you love. Nukes, baby. Oh, 
Holy wind wow. gusts. You got Woo! elevated. That is scent though. We'll take that shot. There, there's the wind. The wind was. <laughs> it's always funny when you can like, you see the disc, you something wacky, and then like two seconds later, five seconds later, you feel the wind gust. It's like, oh, that's what that hit. That's why I did that. Okay. That's what that was. Would have been nice to know <laughs> right. before I threw, but I right. worked out, man. I didn't it get did. like wrecked. Right. What about having flags, like ha like a, like a third of the way and two thirds of the way down the fairway? I, I like this idea. So you could even go a step further. I've thought about this Cup. of like wind readers. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's, it's just like a little device that like will read how much wind is going in what direction. Right. If you could put those on like every tee pad, every basket, and then maybe right. like on the fairway of a couple holes. The long holes. Yeah. Upload it to PJ live. Oh. So any player can look on there and see what the wind's doing at different points. That would be nice actually. That would be nice it's too. Cause a, that would kind of show like the variance that people have for rounds. Cause sometimes. Right. Sometimes you'll play a hole and it's super calm and then the next group comes and it's super windy. So like it does play a little different. Definitely down the road, but it's a, cool, it's a yeah. thought for making the sport for sure. better. This is one of my favorite kinds of holes. It's like a park style um, placement shot off the tee that you need to put in front of a gap to then go into the woods. Right. So it kind of combines wooded golf and park style golf yeah. on the same thing. I really like that. Yep. I like that shot a lot too. Pretty safe, consistent. Nice. Yeah. Stable nuke. Yeah, I don't think I'm in eagle range at all, but right. take that. All right, this is pretty ideal. This is great. Um, if you're going for eagle, you want to be a little farther right mm. to open up this like pushing shot. The shape here, fits a little better. Right. Yeah. Being to the right is not that bad. Being to the left sucks. So I think pushing it maybe a touch straighter. Mm. I'm going to go stable raptor, I think. Try to push that back wall, skip off it a little bit. Looks nice. Yeah, maybe it's a little too far left. I'll take it though. Maybe. Scrambleable from there. Yep. Well, we've got ourselves a chance. Yeah, you're not lined up with the regular gap, but this gap might actually shape better for the eagle if you can hit it. Straight gap or the right gap? I kind of want to go with the right gap. You want to go right gap? Uh, are. But it doesn't really walk out probably. No, I'm going to go straight gap. <laughs> I think straight gap. gap's your best bet for getting to the basket. Here we go. Oh, frick my life, dude. That would have been this. If there was no trees, no rip another one. Might as well try. Try the white gap now, yeah, I guess. Try the white gap. Is on. No. Same See, that's just a lost disc, dude. I hate woods so bad. How does anyone like that? That's what people. <laughs> I don't know how people like love woods golf so much when you just lose a disc off of a shot that's like two feet off. It's just gone forever. <laughs> that's what we want to play. What is that? See, now I have to just spend a bunch of time. Digging through woods, trying to get my disc back. There's probably thorns back there. I probably got lit up by fire ants. The morale is just completely gone. <laughs> but I got my disc back. It might be worth going a little more aggressive because if you go down there somewhere, anywhere in that area, mm -hmm. it's pretty easy up and down. Right. So if you just like push your shot too straight, versus mine skipped a little left, and the left is just so tough over here. Tight gaps yeah. on the side. You kind of always have a different upshot too on a lot of these these Paul walls. It's not unless you're right in the middle of the fairway. It's always kind of a scramble shot a little bit. Right. That's one of the nice things I like about that kind of shot is you right. can play your placement shot off the tee yep. and be in a pretty reasonable spot where you practiced that right. before. Of course, you get into scramble golf later, yep. but that's that's just woods for you. But as long as the gaps are fairly wide, like fair enough, then the, the scramble style of golf isn't terrible. Yeah. Right. Right. Looks pretty good. Ah, oh, it got rooted. Smoked. It's a good shot until it got absolutely destroyed. Oh no. Wait. It's perfect. Oh yes. Oh! Well, wow, well, I thought well, it was well, a no sh for. shank. <laughs> I yelled oh no because I'm rooting against you, you oh, okay, I, I don't okay, want okay. that to be a good shot, kidding. <laughs> okay. I'm rooting for you, man. Hey, if you win this weekend, that'd be sweet. Hey, Imagine that. Thanks, man. That'd Come back cool. from a six stroke deficit. Beat Gannon and everyone else, get paid out big time. Dude, one of the things though, there's a lot of pressure on Gannon. Okay. Oh, yes. Like he's like, I hate. Well, he said this, but also it's Gannon. He's like, I don't like those tournaments where I was like up by like ten. Right. Because then I'm like in a position where I could blow the biggest lead of all time. 
You know? Oh, that is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So he's kind of in that position. Right. He might just be like, oh gosh, the pressure. Oh no, what do I do? Oh. He has handled the pressure pretty well so far this <laughs> season though. So I think, I think he'll probably do just fine. This is brutal, well, what's, man. What's like, what's Ricky have? How many strokes does Ricky have? Nine. Nine? It goes 10 for Gannon, nine for Ricky, oh, I think. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's just one, okay. So it's just one difference, yeah. So like for the top 10 guys, it's relatively close. It goes 10, nine, eight, seven. And then a bunch of sixes. Then five through eight is six. Okay. Um, nine through twelve is. So he's got five. four strokes on eighth place. Yeah. All right. Okay. Interesting. Man, it, it was going to be in circle one, I think. Yeah. Absolutely boned by this Smoke. thing. Boy. Also, the basket used to be right where you're standing. Yeah. But got to make it harder. Oh my oh, god. Oh, the lift. Finally got one there. That was the right height. Mm. Yikes. I wonder why this basket says 13 on it. You probably haven't put the wraps on yet. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh yeah, they're gonna put the thing on the all The thing, probably, yeah. All right, don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I'm on my Badlands jersey today. We got the little buffalo on there, the Northern Lights. Pretty sweet. Discrep came out with these about two weeks ago. And uh, the Nuke jersey as well. I just wanna say thank you to anyone who picked one of them up. It's pretty cool to see some people wear on some stuff out uh, at the USEGC this last week. I think there was only like 2XL and 3XL of this jersey left. So they sold out really quick. So thanks for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for repping stuff. Um, hole six, man, 900 feet, par four. Oh, um, that. Wicked. Okay, this one is so tough. Ricky did birdie this hole twice in a row to win the championship one year. It is which impressive. Which is crazy. Um, but into this wind, man, I am going <laughs> to be going pretty safe off the tee. It's ripping. Probably not even going for the green. Um, I think with no wind, I can get there with a huge backhand, huge forehand. Yeah. But otherwise, it's going to be a backhand upshot. They did move the OB back. There is a little bit less danger for going for the green. Okay. Um, and it's it. different from last year because they moved it back. Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see that this is not a par five anymore. Well, I liked last year's hole. Yeah, I did too. Um, I heard that it's because of uh, Hurricane took down oh. a lot of trees in that area. There's That's one probably huge, great. Huge. Well, I mean, they they just. Oh, it's like dangerous. Well, they, yeah, they had to get stuff out. I think oh, okay. they did get everything out, so it does look good. They could do it now. Okay. But I think at the time when they were making the decision, it okay. was like in rough shape, so. Right. I mean, it's still good as a Paul Fawl, so yeah, I, I, guess I can't blame them for. Right. That's what I heard anyway. themselves to clean everything else out. Yeah. You'll see this tree that fell down, man. Biggest tree I've ever seen. It's yeah. ridiculous. Fight that wind. Fight that wind. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Nice. I think with this wind, I'm oh, playing hurt. it safe like that, throwing yeah. it close to those trees. Yeah, with this wind, it's going to be like, there's going to be so few people getting a body yeah. that it's really just wolf not bogeying. You just got to stay in bounds. With a little better wind, you can hug it tighter to this first tree and, and really try to flip up a little bit, push. farther up the fairway. Yeah. But it's a shot that Ezra's a little better at than I am anyway. Well thrown. Can't be that much better, guys. I'm not even in this event, you know? <laughs> Good spot, but man, still a long ways to go. Long ways to go. Um, I think roller is going to be a viable option, depending on if they cut the grass and mm. what the wind's doing. Um, now that the OB's kind of pushed back. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can get there with a the forehand. It's too far into that wind. It's just got to stay up. Good line, dude. Ooh, it did get the full flight. It's a nice shot. Probably circle two, yep. but I'll take it. I'm considering laying this hole up. Right. Like, just I throw a safe shot here. Try to throw a safe shot second. Try to get maybe a look, but right. don't do anything stupid. You could just throw a chip forehand eyes off to like right. 100 feet and then just jump putt and lay if, up. If we had more of the wind we had off the tee, mm -hmm. just like ripping crosswind, definitely throw in a stable forehand second. Yeah. Take the 100 footer. Yeah. I don't even have the luxury of laying up. I have to run everything. I'm, I'm starting an infinity strokes behind Gannon this week. So in order to catch up, I have to ace every hole. That's still not enough. <laughs> stay on cut? Oh, I asked too Ooh. late. If I would have asked this to stay on cut right away, then maybe would have had a chance. Maybe but. Dude, that looks just him. like your passion. And out of your hand, I was like, that is a crazy line to put your passion on. Oh. <laughs> passion would walk, though. That I was my you second were choice. That passion. That, uh, I had it in my head that this is the shot you're going to throw. Missed that. Yes. Just drift. 
And lift. Forever. Stay up. That's putt. That's a putt. Definitely safer option, but not yeah. as fun. Not as fun. Ah, Bowling are fun though, man. It really is fun to play good. It's just that playing bad sucks so bad, but kind of pulled up on this little knoll. Yeah, they moved it right for some reason. Yeah, so it's not elevated basket, but the ground kind of makes it elevated. Right. Mm. Had a decent shape. Did have a decent shape. Fade! Ah, oh, too late. Wow. Too late. I thought you made it. Had the line. Definitely a bonus birdie. Kind yes. of a theme on this course. It'd be a huge bonus birdie for me, especially. <laughs> I'd be shocked if I boated dude, if I boated this hole in the tournament. That'd be crazy. I would be, that would be crazy. <laughs> Imagine if two people drop out and I get in. Oh wait. If I injure two people. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I didn't think it was gonna be me. <laughs> I'll do whatever it takes, man. <laughs> So this is the devastation from the hurricane. And you can see like, oh, it's a pretty big tree that came out. So is that one, so is that one. And then you're oh. like, wait, wait a second. Those three trees were knocked down by this tree. Wow, okay, yeah, I was like, where's this massive tree that Goose is talking about? What is that, dude? And now that, I see dude? it. That thing is like, uh, what? It's like four trees in one. 10 foot diameter? It's so old. I mean, it's got nothing on the redwoods. Uh, right. You know, California's got to beat by a mile, but like, that's pretty big for, Holy pretty cool moly. for North Carolina though. It's pretty good size for North Carolina. You can tell why it fell down though. Too. Happy for you guys. The whole middle is like rotted out. Yeah. Super old tree, but. Like it looks decent on the outside, but then just dead on the inside, you know? <laughs> kind of like me. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Hole number seven is 700 feet. Paul wall again, long dog leg right. We got woods everywhere, of course, and we have an OB line on the left side. So I think the, the most ideal play, the textbook play, is probably a big power forehand that kind of gets to the OB line and fades off of it to the right. And you still have some work to do. There's still some trees in the way, even if you have a good tee shot. You will see some people go backhand mid-range, maybe turn over. Isaac Robinson probably comes to mind for that shot. I mean, you gotta get past the trees. I'm gonna go nuke again. So guys, when we're looking at this, you're like, oh, this is a pretty nice fairway. You know, you got like, you know, a 10 foot gap right there. You can see between those trees. And then right. you got another gap there. The actual fairway is between those two trees. So that little like two foot gap you can see right there yeah. is the actual line. I would love to see that one skinny tree in the middle of the gap come down. I yeah. think that would help yep. this hole out a lot. It's just, it's, it's so specific. It's annoying to hit that one. It's a little bigger once you get up there, but like from the tee pad, it's like right. offset enough that it's tiny. Oh my God, I hate for it. Yep, and he missed that by like what, a foot? No, dude, I missed that by a mile. That was so bad. You have to, I can't even you complain. You have to put it close to that tree, though. You think? I was trying to go that close. Hmm. I don't know about inside that tree. I've got three and a half months until my next tournament. I can come back stronger than ever. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I'll say about this shot, if you throw like a safer shot that like fades through the gap nice and easy, yeah. you come up way too short and have right. nothing. Good point. And if you throw the shot perfectly, half the time you're in a spot, you have nothing. So it's like, yeah, it's true. I, I mean, the hole is, it's gotta be one, maybe the hardest it's hole. It's definitely a bonus board for sure. This one, you have to think in your head, just get through the first gap, try to get your par. Oh, you hold the left side, around the tree. Yep, around the tree, perfect. Perfect, that might be really good. What's golf? Yeah, try you might be, ball. do you think that faded too soon though even? I bet it does. It didn't really push straight, it kind of just hyzled the whole way. It kind of hyzled, yeah. You'll have, you'll have a, a shot though, probably. There's a, a left side shot. and there's a right side. Right. And I'll bet I'm right in the middle. Okay. So, I, whatever. I, you might I have something. You, you should have an easy par at, at Walst. Maybe I should stop thinking about like throwing a good shape and just think about hit the first gap. Right. That's a thought. I don't know. Could just stop thinking at all. At all? That one I think so be. Is it? Ooh, cut a late mm. shape. Yeah. Neither mm. of us hit the gap. No. <laughs> This actually ended up really good, but it's still really tough. I'm so far away. I take this spot any time, but like you said, like I'm not expecting to get up and down from here. Yeah, I got past the gap. I'm in the fairway. I'm not out of bounds, but I have a long ways to go. You can see the basket up there to the right. I've got this fairway up the left side. I'm gonna try to throw a skip shot nuke and then find a way, because I don't think the gap is super fine the whole way. There's tons of trees over there, but tons with of trees. the skip, at least the disc is uh, vertical, so. Right. Two inside. A little bit. 
one looks a little better. Still trash, but it's not bad. Yep. I wonder how far yours got up though. Par. Yeah, so there's like two fairways, and I'm actually kind of in one of them. So like, I can't complain. I actually have a real shot. I think we'll go to the basket, so. Right where I was aiming, parked. Oh, it's so good. What the heck? I didn't even come close to either gap I was aiming for. <laughs> parked for birdie. Woods golf, baby. Woods golf. I think this forehand's probably the purest way to get a decent look. As was about 50 feet. Stay up. Pansy. This hole's tough, man. Two drives, two second shots, and it's still bogey. No, Paul. Mm. Ugh. There you go. Straddle putts have been my like number one bane of my existence lately. Mm. I need to practice those a lot. <sighs> Look at that epoxy bench. Oh, no. Look at this guy. Drinking my factual stuff. Wow. It's not, it's not bad. Pretty good. Um, definitely protein-y, definitely coffee-y. Yeah. But drinkable. Yeah. <laughs> you give the best reviews, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Hole eight, uh, 462 feet. I think that if this isn't the iconic hole on the course, it's like one of the top two. Mm. Um, power line hole so they've got a nice cut fairway down this hill across an ob creek to the basket it does play a little fluky because you do have the uh, power line hanging like right in the fairway right. and on the other side you've got a couple trees guarding the basket and if you catch one of those you're not you know you're trying to aim around them but it's hard to aim at 450 out yeah. out there um you can easily kick back into the ob you're kind of hoping to throw a good shape and then hoping to get through a little bit right yeah I think ideally, I'm throwing the little flex shot. I'm trying to go kind of straight at the power line, fade just left of those trees. I think mm. that's the least fluky shot. Gets you about 25 feet Category. and a pretty good putt. You can only try so much at the end of the day. You still have to execute the shot. Oh, I got it. Oh man, it held over, that's crazy. Just left, like I was saying, wow. Perfect, Dude. yeah. I thought I smoked that first Me tree. Me too, that was sure. great though, jeez. You almost brought these little power line st stabilizer things into play. Oh, these like ones right how off left, the tee? How left that shot was, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see those. Um, I hit this line yesterday. Um, I'm glad that my disc didn't get cut in half, but you can see that line hangs right in the middle of the shot. Yeah. <laughs> I like the right, the right side more. I don't know. Oh, it's so low though. Going like a flippy raptor with that? Yeah, it wasn't super flippy, but it was flippy enough to stand up a little bit. Right, I still have 25 feet too. I got past the cliff, past, past the... Past everything, 25 foot putt, wow. Yeah, I put that, I take yeah. that. Yeah. I was always thinking you threw passion down the right side. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not really throwing anything this year, so it's okay. like... I like the raptor better. The, the passion, be the passion will flip up and like have a better chance of getting to the basket because the raptor's gonna try to finish left. But I think it has a better chance of hitting the stuff on the right because it's like a little flippier. So if it flips up like straight right there, but instead it's- But that has a, that has a chance of like acing. Well, the rack is gonna always finish a little left, finish I feel left. like. Finish right, I gotcha. I'll take that though. Yeah, I like to flex shot. I hit that gap better. Yeah, you would so. like to flex, dude. Yeah, always do. Always flexing, man. I learned from the best. Unbelievable. Hey. I learned, I learned from the best. Me? Me? Oh no, certainly not me. <laughs> Yep, this is exactly what we're playing for. We'll take this, yeah, three shots. Well, almost this circle. My pass went a little deep. You're right, it does go a little farther, but most uh, predictable way of playing the hole. Nice goose. Finally. Putts, putts warmed up. Yeah, it's getting there. there. We go. It's getting there. You can't let me like big putt you there. <sighs> nah, dude, from 25 feet, bro. You can hope it spits out. <laughs> I said that mid putt though, that's not fair. <laughs> Hole nine, 580 foot, Paul four again, a lot of Paul fours on this course, more than I even remember, I think. We got a dog leg right, gap to hit off the tee, traditional play is gonna be a forehand, I'm going Raptor, I think it's, it, you, you can kind of go too deep with the nuke, yep. so you kind of have to hit this gap, push straight a little bit, fade off to the right, and you've got kind of a precarious little downhill shot to the basket. That seems like the world of the day, but it's not. 
I thought the word of the day, guys. Wait for the back nine for the word of the day. It's going to blow your socks off. Precarious blow is a good, your socks off. Precarious is a good word, though. But it it's is. Not, uh, it's not the word of the day. That's just a, that's just a word we use in our everyday vocabulary. Like, yeah, not yeah, quite yeah. the word of the day word, right? Get legs. Oh, that's fine. That's actually perfect. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, Stupendous. <laughs> which is also not the word of the day. What do you call me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the weird things about this tee shot is like, you think you want to get like around the corner mm. and it's so easy to go right. Okay. Because you just go down the hill, there's more airspace, take a big skip and you're in the rough on the right. Right. So it's almost more of a straight shot. Interesting. Um, so I like to go buzz OS. But again, just hit the first gap. That's all you got to focus on. You passed it. Oh! That's not the first gap, but it'll play it. Someone's saying Ricky got up to circle two with a oh general gosh. or something. So, Jeez. I just want—I just want to see. It's terrible. General is that, like, is that like—is that like a nuke knockoff or something? I have no I'm idea. Kidding! I don't want to throw shade out though, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> that is what he throws a lot, though. I, I noticed. Oh, it's good shape. It gets around that. It does. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. I didn't hear anything. You might be closer than Ricky. I played I, with Ricky on round one, and he was throwing that a lot, that disc. In general? Yeah, so it's probably like a, it's got to be like a destroyer or like a foil or a Zeus or a nuke or something, right? Bro, I don't know most of Discraft's discs. Right. <laughs> and I know nothing about any of the other discs. You know, we know, you know, Nuke OS, <laughs> Zone OS, Buzz OS, Raptor OS. Yep. Capricorn Pro, and that's about it. That's all you need to know. That, that's all I need. So it's kind of this wall of trees you get to after you just hit the first gap. Yeah. So my goal is to kind of slide up to it. So hopefully, Nothing bad happens. I think if I had the height I was looking for with this Raptor, right. it would have gotten a ladle skip and potentially gotten past this. Then, then it's just one less gap you have to hit. Right. So you ideally, yeah. At that get... gap or through it. Right. But I am uh, framed up really nicely here though, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep. Buffalo, somebody asked what, what disc the Buffalo disc is. It is his own. And, oh, hey. Wow. On the shirt too. Wait, 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 wait. Aw. I feel like this is the male buffalo, and this is the female buffalo. That's Actually, definitely not how nope. that works. Nope. What's that? Huh? De definitely not. Maybe this is the female, and this is the male. Uh, this thing's just really throwing me off. I don't really know what that is. Uh, is that far enough? I think you got the log. Ooh, skip no, over the log? the log. There's the basket. I'm saying the buffalo kiss each other. Oh. It's true oh, love. It's like, it's like two buffalo coming together to make little buffalo babies. Kissing the homies goodnight, that kind of thing. Oh, oh. as long as you have your socks on, I guess it's fine. It's nowhere near circle two, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think Wakey might have cheated if he got that far. Easy birdie, I think. Yep. It should be, but you can see how I, I played that shot really well, and I'm still on the right side. Right. It always wants to, yeah, funnel down Filter and fade down, down this, this hill, like you said. It has to really push. actually all space. Yeah, flip right. up, get there. I can kind of see where the back end does make sense. It's not gonna, it's never gonna finish too far right, really. Yeah. You gotta just throw it like a nice, like slow fading putter or something. Yeah. Isaac Robinson style. Yeah, he does have a good chance out here for sure. <laughs> Man, a jump putt up to this basket is nice to have though. Yeah. yeah, your two options with the up shot really are this like backhand down the left side, which is a little like tight, right. or you can go high and have good speed control over the, the log. Mm. So I think that log is really an integral part of the actual hole and it how is. the upshot plays, so. Yeah, for sure. Integral is also not, not the word of the day, guys, but we're just we're edging you to that to that word of the day on the back nine. <laughs> it's coming up. All right, here we go, a little more step. Ooh. Dunk. Hmm. Oh, no, sit down. Don't roll OB. Yeah, OB that would suck. You'd hate me. that, wouldn't you, Goose? You'd hate it if my disc went OB. It's a, it's you don't really even need to get strokes on me, man. <laughs> I like you've already beaten me this week. I have no. You know, it's been the deed's been done. Hey, man, you can never beat someone by enough, though. You know. <laughs> that is true. I wouldn't know anything about that, unfortunately. <laughs> me either. Um, really solid hole, though. I like this one. It's a good one. Good gap shots. Um, good tough, like touch, up shot. Nice. Ding. I mean, to be fair. They actually have some really good holes out here. They've got some good par fours. The one par five he played. That's one of my good favorite things out here. I mean, it's is yeah. the, par, the number of uh, decision making holes you have out here. Right. Really nice. Yeah, it's going to be like you said. It's going to play kind of similar to MVP. Yeah. Really, really difficult course. 
good scoring separation. If you get a body on this course, it's huge, yeah. and that goes a long way. Although I think people shot like 10 down last year somehow, right? Oh, right, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I think, I, at I least I'm not getting beat by those guys. Seven's gonna be a really good number. Yeah. Anyone's happy with that, I think. But, yeah, I'd be stoked with that, for sure. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's gonna do it, guys. That is the front nine here at Nevin for the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championships. Check out the back nine on uh, Gooseman's channel. It's gonna be electric. And that's gonna be it. That's the end of the season for, for the videos on this channel. So thank you guys for watching this season. Hope you guys enjoyed all the content and hopefully we'll be back next year with uh, a lot more. We've also got some stuff we already filmed, so definitely stay tuned for that and subscribe because we got like maybe like three or four videos that just need to be edited and posted. So then like the next month and a half or so, should have some content. And then, uh, yeah. Off season content. Off season content, yeah, try to film too, some stuff so. though too. And then hopefully, man, this season, like I said, it's a pretty tough season for me. I was talking to Paul, U Captain, team captain, Paul Uliberry, and he was saying sometimes as players, we kind of need seasons like this. And I think, I think he's right. I think it's kind of, it was maybe a little bit easy to get like comfortable with being just like a top 20 player. And so I think this season's gonna motivate me a lot to push myself more to my potential, which I think my ceiling's a lot higher than just being a top 15 and top 20 player. And I don't wanna have a season like this again. So I'm excited for this off season to grind and get back to where I need to be. And then fuller and closer to what I, what I can accomplish in the next season should be really good. So looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.